Thank you for choosing the Yampa River Botanic Park for your event. We wish you much success. Guests choose the Yampa River Botanic Park because of the views and the relaxed atmosphere next to Peter's Pond. It is such a glorious backdrop. To make sure the event goes off smoothly, you need to include everyone in the plan. Please share this video with all parties involved before the event. Such a wonderful, unique place has some simple guidelines to ensure that everything goes smoothly from start to finish. In planning for your wedding or event on the green, you should allow setup time of one to two hours before and one hour after for cleanup time. This will ensure that the area will be vacated and ready for the next event. We ask that you cooperate with any other party that may be on the green before or after you. You may have the use of the green, but the rest of the park is available for quiet public enjoyment while your wedding or event is going on. The electric outlets on the edge of the green may be used. You will need to supply a power cord. No music loud enough to be heard outside of the park fence is permitted. Tents or arches may be erected for the event, but you must first obtain the supervisor's approval to ensure that no damage will be done to the lawn or irrigation system. A limited number of cars may be driven into the park to bring in equipment or to shuttle disabled or elderly guests and the bride's party. However, vehicles may not drive on any grass and they should be moved back to the parking lot before the ceremony begins. Open the large gate and secure the post in the wooden hole. Each vehicle should close the gate upon entering. Please turn off the engine when you are unloading and loading your vehicle. Most importantly, the gates must be closed when the event is finished. The rancher's gate next to the parking lot must be closed and locked. No parking on or near the soccer fields. Once in the park, we ask the children are supervised. The gardens are delicate and everyone must stay on pathways and out of gardens. Please don't pick any plant material or move stones. Hazards do exist. Deep water, loose rocks, signs with sharp edges. Water play is not permitted. Nothing may be pinned on or penetrate the fabric of the 20-foot green umbrella. No smoking or dogs in the park, please. The Trillium House features a changing room loft area, two restrooms, a kitchenette, and a 55-inch TV monitor for your use, all with incredible views of Emerald Mountain and overlooking the Yampa River. The building can accommodate 49 people with a flagstone patio outside, which can accommodate another 50 people. The house has direct access to the bike path core trail. Bike racks for parking are available along the fence. Handicap access and caterers can use the Fish Creek Mobile Home Park vehicle access. All other attendees must enter the Botanic Park from the bike path core trail entrance or from the parking lot at the Emerald Park and then walk to the Trillium House. Please place all your trash in the bear-proof can at the back of the building. A recycling container is by the bathrooms for glass, aluminum, and plastic. Please set up and clean up within your allotted time slot. Leave the Trillium House and patio as you found it. Close and lock all windows and close and lock the big gate. Tables back inside, chairs stacked, kitchen counters clean, and trash and recycle in the bins outside. Should your party involve more than 75 guests, the City of Steamboat Springs requires that you hire an off-duty police officer or community officer to monitor the parking lot. More than 100 guests requires a commuting plan that involves carpooling, vans, or public transportation. Please share this informative video link with everyone in your party. In the meantime, should you have any questions, please email us at info at yrbp.org. And yes, please become a member.